Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another video and this is a update uh, to my system as you can see I've I've moved my inverter charger from down there to up there and I've also included my own little uh, protective uh, covering for it to keep stuff from uh, falling on uh, some or dust or whatever getting on the inside here and I uh, just went to Home Depot and I got uh, some type of uh, venting uh, flashing or whatever this thing is called and I and uh, these, the edges can get pretty sharp, so I just kind of put some Gorilla Tape around the edges there to protect it, or protect the, uh, you know, the edges from you know people from getting cut if they you know accidentally touch it or whatever. But anyway, um, this is my new uh, setup. Okay, well I just changed it uh, essentially. But anyway, I also wanted to show folks um, what it means uh, to have anti-islanding with your grid tie inverter to have a certified grid tie inverter and also to re-emphasize what i was uh, saying earlier in, in an earlier video about uh, you know this information here and as you can see i've got i've got you know i've got 247 volts coming from somewhere and uh at 0.9 amps and uh 2.4 watts right so it's coming from somewhere and i said that it's I believe it's the synchronization between the grid tie inverter uh, and the inverter charger. So just to kind of prove that, so this right here is the output side of the inverter, uh, of the inverter charger. So as you can see right here, this particular uh, power uh, wire here is going in to the load center and it's going up to these two breakers. So watch when I flip the switch. So I'm gonna flip the switch and watch this. So when I flip the switch, this goes off, and what does that mean? Uh, that means that the grid tie inverters are n are not transmitting power at all. Okay, they just you know when there's nothing to synchronize with the grid tie inverter, then uh, you know according to the IEEE standards uh, and the UL standards, they have to shut down. Okay, to protect you know uh, line workers or you know so they won't be. Uh, it's the anti island thing that they're talking about. And as you can see here, this particular circuit breaker that's for the uh, grid tie inverter is still on, okay? It is still on, it has not, I didn't shut that off. So, and if you look here, see, it is there, it is not powered up at all. Even though the wires are coming down and they should be, it should be energizing this particular uh, meter so you can see something, so it's, it's dead. But if I flip the uh, inverter output back on, it comes back on. So that right there is what it means to have a certified micro grid tie inverter or a grid tie inverter that when the power is some type of source, synchronization, some type of uh, power source is not available like utility or in this case my inverter charger, then that particular grid tie inverter uh, or the grid tie inverters, they do shut off. So these numbers are coming or actually um, coming from here, all right? so. Um, so this is well both of them really so so that's what I was saying earlier that um, you know this is it this can kind of look uh, kind of skewed if you if you think this is supposed to be coming from the grid tie inverter at night when it's at night so uh, and that's not the case okay all right take care you too